2022 Mitsubishi Outlander first test. Rogue buyers, listen up. Please support us by pressing the like button and subscribing so that this channel will grow and provide many benefits for you. And don't forget to press the bell icon, so that you get notification updates about the latest videos from us. Thank you. We've already had the opportunity to talk about the context of the new Outlander and what it means for Mitsubishi in our first drive. Now we've spent a week with the car for additional impressions and to run it on our test track, all to answer the question. Is it a smarter purchase than the Rogue with which it shares so much? Performance. The Mitsubishi holds no advantage in performance. Candidly, the Outlander's 2.5-liter naturally aspirated i4 is barely up to the task of motivating this 3,845-pound SUV. At the test track, the Outlander needed 8.6 seconds to complete its 0-60 to sprint. That puts the new Mitsubishi at the slower end of the segment, which translates to uninspired driving on the road. A Nissan Rogue with an identical 181 horsepower and 181 pound-feet from the same engine and transmission hits 60 miles per hour in 8.1 seconds, largely because it's 200 pounds lighter. Scooting up to speed around town, acceleration is unimpressive but adequate as the CVT automatic holds the engine spinning around 2,500 revolutions per minute. The moan of the four pod at constant revs is less than pleasant but usually not unduly loud. At higher speeds, though, accelerating up and on-ramp or matting the throttle to pass on the highway, we found ourselves yearning for more power and less noise. Looking at the Outlander's braking performance, its 60-0 mph stopping distance of 115 feet is impressive compared to compact SUVs that typically need another 10-15 feet, the Rogue does the same stop in 114 feet. That said, our test driver noticed a soft pedal and some nosedive in panic stop scenarios. Driving impressions. Living with the Outlander paints a nicer picture. Rarely did we find ourselves in situations that demanded full throttle or rapid acceleration, and the meager engine and drone-inducing CVT often faded into the background. At idle, noise and vibration from the powertrain is nearly imperceptible. The steering is heavier than we'd expect for the segment. Test editor Chris Walton called it, excessive, but it is precise, and the Outlander holds a line well. When you're not braking or cornering at the limit, body mo. The mon are kept to a minimum, and the vehicle rides comfortably over most impacts. Once you get up to speed on the highway, the Outlander's driver assist features are mostly reliable and easy to use. The lane centering function confidently positions the vehicle and can follow gentle curves, we appreciated steering wheel vibration as a lane departure alert in addition to the traditional auditory cue. Using the adaptive cruise control, the Outlander brakes with a human-like touch, although it can be sluggish to accelerate back up to speed. Active safety functionality was displayed clearly on our test vehicle's optional 12.3-inch digital instrument cluster and 10.8-inch head-up display. Mitsubishi also provides a 360-degree camera system in addition to the industry-standard backup cam. That makes the Outlander much easier to park, and a dedicated camera button means you can instantly access it without searching through menus. Interior layout and design are real strengths. Instead of capacitive touch buttons that lack feedback or over-reliance on complicated touchscreen controls that take your eyes off the road, the Outlander has tactile, physical buttons for frequently used features, plus textured metallic knobs for volume, tuning, and HVAC controls.
Thanks for watching. Drop a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.